Hi, I'm Algie Garrod. Uh, I'm part of a family farming partnership in the heart of Norfolk. We're roughly a 400 hectare farm uh, growing arable crops. Sugar beet is a mainstay of our arable rotation. Uh, we grow approximately 200 acres depending on field sizes each year. Our first experience with Grimmy and sugar beet equipment was through the harvesters. They've done a really good job. It was as a result of that that led me to the sugar beet drill. Uh, this year I decided to invest in a matrix 12 row precision sugar beet drill with mulching kit. Uh, I saw the drill at the Norfolk show. Uh, like the design, uh, it had several similar uh, characteristics to a drill that we were replacing uh, with some advances in technology. What attracted us to the drill was the mulching kit, isobus linking, auto sectional control shut off uh, to help us save seed and perhaps get away from the need to tractor hoe after drilling. Looking at it folded behind the tractor, you think, crikey, that's really compact. And that's a huge plus. And I mean, this folds incredibly tightly. And that's a big plus when you are going down roads that have not been hedge cut effectively. And that's a, that's a real big plus. It's very compact. And so the designers have done a hell of a job. So far, uh, we have drilled our crop in excellent conditions. Uh, this year has been great conditions to drill in. What we have found with the drill, it's easy to operate. Mulch kit enables us to deal with surface trash as a result of using cover crops before sugar beet. Um, we minimum tillage on light lands, having applied poultry manures, and then drill either directly or after a secondary cultivation. What was an, a real eye-opener with this? was that the extra weight and everything with all the units and the, and the kit on it, the units stay absolutely stationary through even quite a rough seabed. And it gives you that confidence to start increasing your forward speed. The attractiveness of linking the isobus, the tractor with a drill, uh, with more precision, and it was plug and play. And uh, the operator is familiar with the screen. It's worked seamlessly, and that was a great relief because it doesn't always happen. Uh, it's nice when it does, and, and it has done, um, and it's linked very well. Uh, my operator is very happy with it. And combined with the mulch kit and better seed placement as a result of stability of the units, being an eye opener, and the most obvious thing is when you're walking behind the drill on a seedbed that is rough in terms of just after a sumo where there's quite a lot of ridges and you're relying on little clog deflectors to level your seedbed, still the units were absolutely stable. And that leads to better seed placement and increased forward speed. We've not explored that yet to the maximum, but um, the stability of the units gives you confidence that you would be able to increase the forward speed because there's no coulter bounce. The mulch kit certainly creates a groove for the units to follow, clearing out some of the clods, certainly cutting through some trash. That has appeared so far, and the crop is yet, yet to emerge, but it, the drilling period was a really comfortable period, and it, the drill really performed how you know, we hoped it was gonna perform. It was notable when scratching around in to find the seeds, the placement was very precise. You know, on a consistent seed bed with consistent placement, we would expect to see consistent emergence, a growth stage, and that's quite important to avoid herbicide damage, etc. We're really looking forward to seeing the effect of auto shutoff um, of, of the units because every field has curves and edges, it's not a perfect playing field. And we were always over drilling seed and uh, you know yes you cut out with the tractor hoe hopefully we won't need to do that so it will be really interesting to see that precision that'll be a great step forward for us you order your seed for the acreage and when you're getting to the end there doesn't look like there's much seed in the drill and you panic and you speak to your neighbor and borrow some seed and we didn't need that seed there was a cup full in each unit it was quite remarkable the beet crop is just starting to come up and so in a few days we'll be able to see you know, the results fully.